Hello, my name is Robert Narani. I'm an anesthesiologist here at University of Maryland Hospital. And I'm just going to go over my role today and sort of explain to you uh, what we do in the operating room as well as in the anesthesia prep center. Uh, today I'm in the prep center and what we do here is we prepare patients for their upcoming surgery. Uh, we do it in a number of ways. We see patients who are actually coming in to see us as well as we call patients on the phone if their medical problems don't necessitate or dictate that they need to come in. So what I do is I'll call somebody up, I'll go through all their medical information, sort of see uh, if there's any issues that they have that are outstanding and if those have been addressed so that uh, we can uh, sort of assess whether they've been optimized for their surgery. After I've gone through and collected all my information from allergies to medical history to prior issues with surgery, then I'll go ahead and allow them to ask me any questions regarding their upcoming surgery. Once that's concluded, I'll let them know sort of what to expect in the morning so there's no surprises. We don't like surprises. I'm sure patients don't like surprises. So towards that end, we try to make everybody feel comfortable so that when they come in tomorrow, they sort of have a, uh, ex they know what to expect when they uh, walk through the door. I let them know what medications they need to take. And uh, once they're satisfied, I give them my number. And if they need to call back, they can call back and uh, otherwise I'll let them know that an anesthesiologist, again, is going to review all our information with them in the morning as well. Uh, another one of my roles here in the preparatory center is to review charts for uh, some of the uh, patients that come in, actually come in-house through the prep center. And those patients are usually seen by our nurse practitioners. They can also be seen by our residents. Once they have seen them, they come and they bring the patient's chart to me and we sort of go over some issues just to make sure everything has been covered and the patient, again, is optimized for surgery. That's sort of our role here, to make sure that all the T's are crossed, all the I's are dotted, and the patient is as good as they can be given their medical condition for their upcoming surgery so that they can do as well as they can do. Uh, my other role and, uh, <coughs> in the operating room is, again, to do the anesthetic for these cases. Uh, that either we see here or that my colleagues see here. And in doing so, uh, usually my day will start off at about 6.30 in the morning. I will meet with uh, whoever I am doing cases with, whether they be nurse anesthetists, whether they be residents. Uh, at that time, what we'll go ahead and we'll do is we'll discuss the case if we haven't discussed it the night before, we'll go over all the pertinent information, come upon a plan that we think is going to be useful for getting that patient to sleep safely and for waking up safely for this potential, uh, for their upcoming surgery. That includes, you know, what complications we need to be aware of and what other issues given the patient's history that we need to deal with. Once we've uh, sort of talked about that, we actually go see the patient, go over all the information that's already been collected, make sure it's all correct. Again, answer any questions they have, whether it's their family or themselves. And then once everything's set, we whisk them back to the operating room and we sort of get started. Without going to excruciating detail, that's sort of brief synopsis of what we do here from the anesthetic standpoint at the University Hospital. Hi, um, I'm Carol Burkus. I'm one of the nurse practitioners in the prep center and um, I'm here to provide uh, care to patients and part of their journey for surgery. Um, I believe it's a partnership between uh, the University of Maryland and the patients that present to the prep center in terms of making sure that they're safe and that they're prepared for um, the surgical procedure that they're going to have. Um, I always, when I go into the patient, I first of all want to find out exactly um, what procedure the patient's having. I want to have an understanding of what the procedure is that the patient's having um, so that I can go in and give them any information, um, answer any questions that they might not have already answered, um, had answered for them. Um, I think it's really important that the patients know that they're here to make sure that they're safe for surgery and that we're going to provide the screening um, uh, for anesthesia. We're going to provide the uh, preoperative um, history and physical. We're going to um, obtain certain laboratory or diagnostic test it, um, testing as well as uh, the EKG, um, chest x-rays if indicated. Um, I know working here, um, I always emphasize how it's important that um, I start out always with my patients. I want to confirm that their name, the correct spelling, um, the date of their procedure, the type of procedure they're having, the provider that's going to be performing their procedure, and I try to find out exactly um, 
you know, where they're coming from and what is their understanding of their diagnosis and their surgical procedure that they're ready to, um, that they're going to be prepared for. Um, I kind of give them an overview of what we're doing here and I review, um, you know, in terms of the, in terms of the um, prep role, I basically explain, you know, what we're going to do and I always, always emphasize how important it is that, that they're safe for surgery and I just think that um, having that understanding, you know, for the patient, to, they, they ha they're better um, prepared when they go to the operating room. We have their diagnostics, their laboratory values. If, in fact, they need further testing, for instance, they might come in, um, I guess a case I would like to maybe talk about is I had a patient coming in for back surgery, and part of our screening was to ascertain their medical history, and one was um, about a heart murmur, and he said he had a slight murmur. However, when I did my assessment, his murmur was actually, um, it was pretty impressive. His murmur was probably a four out of six, and his murmur was consistent with aortic stenosis. Um, with that said, we had to make sure that he had a cardiac evaluation. Um, immediately, uh, we had to postpone his uh, spinal surgery, and in fact, um, it's my understanding that he since has come and had an aortic valve replacement which to me, um, it, it was kind of a shock that this patient did not realize that he had a problem such as this, you know, aortic stenosis. He didn't have any symptoms, at least which was reported to me. So it's kind of like checks and balances. Um, I understand he has done quite well. Um, I know as a nurse coming here um, to the university, we're getting patients from all over the state, all over other states. Um, and they're having very, very big surgeries, and they've already had a lot of workups in other institutions, and they come here from some of the smaller areas, and they come here, and it's overwhelming. And I try to um, be empathetic and um, think about, you know, what it's like to walk into an institution that's so busy, that has so many resources, and, you know, how scary it must be for them. Um, you know, I had a patient from Salisbury who felt like they could not believe this place was as big as it was. They were used to the mall in Salisbury and felt like this was like bigger than their mall. And they were scared because they were told to go here, go there, and I kind of reassured them that the reason why we were doing all this was try to accomplish this in one day rather than have them ride up and down the road. Um, and this gentleman was having head and neck surgery um, because he was having an airway obstruction and you know, it was an intermittent problem for him, but yet it was something that came on suddenly and was um, impacting his quality of life. So, I mean, needless to say, I think that as nurses, uh, nurse practitioners in the pre-op, uh, in the prep center, I think that, you know, their journey starts here and we fulfill um, the necessary requirements for them to go on to their next step for surgery. Um, we have, um, once we collect the data, the information and do everything, we then turn the information over to um, RNs that we have in, here in the prep center. They communicate with the different services. Um, let them know of any abnormal test results. Um, sometimes we end up behind the scenes arranging other testing, primary care visits, cardiology workups, pulmonary functions, and so on. Um, and this is just a start for them. And I kind of explain to them how important it is that it's a partnership between university and the patient. And it's to prevent, you know, any kind of bad outcomes with their procedures. Hi, my name is Mary Gathers. And I'm responsible for taking care of getting the charts prepared for all surgical patients going to surgery for the next day. Um, what I do is I call the surgeon's office and ask them that they receive all your pre-op. If you went out to have pre-op done at a primary care physician's office, I try to get your labs, your EKG, and your history and physical. And then what I'll do is put together your chart and then I'll pass it on to the anesthesiologist who will call you at home so you don't have to come in and have your pre-op done here. Then after he has cleared you for surgery, then he'll give me all your information and we will place it in a chart and make sure everything is, is cleared for surgery. And then after that's done, we send your chart up to the same day surgery center, which is the office where you'll report to when you come in the morning of surgery. I'm also responsible in case there's additional tests that's needed to clear your surgery, I will call the cardio cardiologist's office if you need any type of cardiac workup and make appointments, appointments for you to have a cardiac clearance done. Or if you've already had it done, I will call them to get the results of that, um, that visit. 
also patients that come here to the prep center to have their pre-op done here at university we're responsible for getting all the information that what all the results of all your labs and, and um, test results and then we prepare the chart from your visit here at the prep center.